Caution. Safety glasses should be worn while working with optical fibers. Do not view fiber ends if they are illuminated with a laser. Carefully follow safety, health, and environmental information on the label or MSDS for isopropyl alcohol. Store, use, and dispose of isopropyl alcohol per your company practice. Confirm that the flat side of the boot is up. Insert the connector into the coupling provided in the tool, pushing forward until an audible click is heard. Caution! Gel inside the connector may cause minimal eye irritation. It contains phenylmethyl silicone, hydrophobic silica. Avoid eye contact and wash hands prior to eating or smoking. Carefully follow safety, health, and environmental information given on the product label or the MSDS sheet for the 8800 no polish connector. Emergency phone is 1-800-364-3577 or 651-737-6501. Begin preparing your fiber by stripping approximately 1 to 2 inches of buffer tube from the fiber. Next, clean your fiber per your company practice. Cleave the fiber to 10 millimeters or 0.4 inches. Once the fiber has been cleaved, verify the length using the length gauge provided for you on the actuation tool. Next, lay the fiber into the grooves so that it extends beyond the funnel end. Close the covers and clamp. Pull the fiber back until the end of the fiber is flush with the funnel end. Place the fiber holder in the actuation tool. Slide the fiber holder forward until it stops. You should see a bow in the fiber beginning at the gauge marking on the actuation tool. Note. Fiber bow will lift the cover for rigid fibers, but remains closed for flexible fibers. This ensures proper fiber insertion force. Press button to actuate the splice element. Make sure that you continue to maintain a bow in the fiber. Press the release lever to allow forward motion of the funnel. Push on the ears to move the funnel forward and actuate the buffer clamp. Lift the fiber clamp and fiber covers to release the fiber. Lift the element actuation button. Slide the fiber holder from the actuation tool. Note, you have the option of testing the connector while it is still in the actuation tool using the SC coupling provided in the tool. To complete the termination, pull the connector from the coupling. 